Okay, Dad, here is your update. This is bolted on. Everything is torqued down properly with grade 8 bolts. Oil pan is on with that shiny blue oil pan gasket, which is a self-sealing gasket. It is the expensive kind and kind of uh, universally understood to be the, uh, the good kind. Okay, this is the proper oil filter for this engine. But the problem that we have is that um, when you lower the motor down into the car, it hits there. So I heated this all up red hot and I pressed that down, but I didn't want to press it any further. You can see it's only about a quarter inch maybe, it's not very much. I didn't want to push that down any farther, so we got a, uh, I think they called a 70 degree or a 90 degree um, adapter, which means that oil filter is now going to be like that like there, which is fine. This is your oil pressure gauge. I'm gonna get rid of this and run it just straight down in there. So thread the filter on that. If we run into space problems here, this comes off and we put on an electric one, which I have. Okay, so that is done. The uh, alternator is being built as we speak. That's going on. What I've got to do now is I've got to, I don't know if you can see this right, there, that's where your oil dipstick tube goes out, but they've just cut that flush, so I need to pull out that piece, and I've got a, uh, it's a Mr. Gasket one. Bought this thing, can't hold it far enough back for you to see it, but um, right there is the little nub that holds it on. So I'll put that in with an O-ring. These are your motor mounts, These you've seen these before. Um, and they're on there really good. They're uh, on with blue Loctite and grade eight bolts. This is the original, or this is the uh, mount that we bought um, in that kit. And it is welded on really well. We couldn't run that one, the other one on that side. So we built this block, which is cut kind of on an angle. And uh, so it's higher on this side than it is on this side. It's welded really well. It got shadow there, but really well along the frame there. And then this is a support piece on there, welded really, really well. Uh, it comes up right, where is it, right there. So that's as far back as we can get it. But that is all kinds of solid. Everything is shot in flat black, black, flat black chassis paint. Here is the um, battery tray I built. Heavy, heavy thing. It's still wet with paint, so I won't touch it, but you pretty well stand on it. It's your 12 volt. Uh, uh, starter solenoid, scoop of spaghetti, which needs to go in. This red thing down here, that is actually your clutch linkage, and I need to figure out how to pull that out. I painted it red so that it stands out, um, so that I'll remember to take that off. Motor will go in it, will go in with that still on there, but I want it off, so that'll come out. Everything else, painted up nice. We've got the supports back on here, so that these are really solid. Rad's going to go down in front of here. I might have to move these supports over here, which is not a problem. That can be done. I'm going to have to cut a hole here for the uh, bottom of the rad to go through. Also not a problem. Or the bottom rad hose, I mean. Transmission is in. Uh, I'll show you this. We're going to be able to use this... Um, original transmission mount this came off of the original transmission out of here this side bolts onto the frame this side uh, clamped onto the uh, the transmission I am going to probably roll it over and drill holes in it run big grade 8 bolts through that that'll still bolt to the same place and this will bolt to the transmission that will be just about perfect but I have to do some measurements for that that motor in that car very very soon that is the wrong oil pan. I think that's about everything I've got to show you. Okay, we'll see you soon.